Hey guys, welcome back. In this next video, um, I'm gonna show you how I, like kind of the initial state of the, the van and also how I got it, uh, how I'm gonna gut it. Um, and then probably a little bit more of me kind of rambling about future plans that um, probably won't uh, come to fruition. However, um, we're starting to get things more uh, locked down. So um, this is the gutting of the van video. Also part of this video, I find a little special surprise in the van, which is super cool and really exciting. Um, but yeah, enjoy. All right, so it's been about, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks since we got the, two weeks since we got the transit. Um, my best friend these last few weeks has been YouTube as I'm trying to figure out a, as we're trying to figure out a plan and budget and all of that good stuff. So we think we got the electrical stuff kind of budgeted out yet uh, already. And so um, now it's time to begin some work on the van. So today, my job is to get all of the current stuff out of the van. Um, right now, it is uh, got this previous camper van type setup. Some of it might be reusable, most of it not. We kind of have a different vision for what we're gonna do here. Um, so kind of the plan is to start with all the the cabinetry, take the cabinetry out, um, take out the bed, um, and then obviously these cushions will just pop out. But then I also want to get down and take out the plastics on here in the ceiling up here so that we can, uh, and on the walls, so that we can get it really down, stripped to the bare bones of this bad boy um, so that we can start insulating and wiring um, and we'll see how far I can get um, our our youngest is actually at home today not feeling so good so I got a baby monitor out here and she's just in watching some shows um, so we'll see how far I can get obviously she takes she's more important than the van so uh, if the need arises uh, I might just have to scrap this for the day uh, big kids are off with grandparents today, which is always nice. We're so thankful for that. Um, but yeah, so the plan is to get this gutted out. So here we go. So I got it mostly, most of the stuff out that I think I'll need to right now. Maybe some of this other stuff is gonna have to come off, but there's a few things I just wasn't quite sure if we needed to get it off. So we'll deal with that when we need to. Um, a few parts that were a little more challenging than I thought was getting all these little like tabs that hold the little pins that hold the, the ceiling and the, some of the plastics off. <laughs> Those were a little bit trickier. And honestly, you might want to get some like eye goggles. Some of the ones, especially on the wheel wells, when I was kind of popping those off, the tops of them would just go bam, 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 bam. That's about the exact sound they made too. More, Maybe it was more of a ding, ding, bing, bing. Um, something like that. But either way, they flew around in the back here. Some of them got pretty close to hitting me in the eye. And we don't want that. So, um... But so for the ceiling, I ended up just going through with like a, a pliers and breaking off the tops of them. So it would just slide out. So I got a bunch of like, here. So I got a bunch of little like the rest of it in there. So I gotta go through and kind of pull those out. Um, but otherwise this, uh, it went pretty well. It was pretty quick. It's, it's pretty small van. So um, not a lot of work there. I also, there was these lights and I wasn't sure exactly how they pop out of the, like the carpet. So I just used a box cutter and cut around them. Same thing with those speakers. 
I didn't want to start ripping at them until I really knew what was going on with them. So just cut around them since I won't need that ceiling anymore. Um, cause we'll do some tongue and groove or something on the ceiling here. Um, but so, uh, pretty good. A few things that are a little bit concerning after I pulled the floor out, um, is just some of this here. The, this all looks like corrosion, like some of that paint, like, or whatever the, the top layer on there is starting to kind of chip off and it's looking a little bit like some of these bolts back here look rusty. So I don't know, the rest of it looks really clean underneath. So I'm not sure if there's water coming in somewhere or if that's just kind of, maybe that's the previous owner or something spilled something under there or I don't know. Um, so we're probably going to have to put something over that just to make sure it doesn't continue to corrode. I'm not sure exactly what to do on that yet, but um, hopefully, I mean, nothing looks corroded anywhere else. So maybe the water's coming up from the bottom or it could just be from, you know, years of use. So, uh, unsure exactly on that, but we'll kind of have to keep an eye on that. Um, but otherwise, uh, now that we got this, um, now that we got this pulled apart, the next step in the process is going to be insulating, uh, and running some pre-wiring which as I've, I've been watching so many YouTube videos um, on the electrical part, because that's the part that's just over my head. Um, and so that's kind of the, but most of those, most of the vans aren't the small transit connects. They're like either a sprinter van or a Mercedes, like one of those bigger van types. And so their pre-wiring is a lot more. Um, and so I, as I was kind of calculating out my, like the wiring that I need, um, I think I had, I had a different vision of how big it was in here. And, and every time I come out here, I just realize it's, it's really small. So, um, really what I'll probably do, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to keep the battery. We're thinking of maybe there's going to be a cabinet over here. Maybe in the bottom of the cabinet is where the battery goes. But now that I'm really in here, that would really w probably waste a lot of lower cabinet space there. Um, so what I might do is just go back behind the passenger seat here and do that but really the wiring will be very minimal because uh there's just only one kind of cross beam here um so really what i can do because we'll probably just need two lights one here maybe one back here um or maybe just one in the middle here i'm not sure but really i'll probably just need like i don't know 10 to 20 feet to do everything that we need um, which is cool so maybe a little bit more I don't know. I'm just talking right now. So <laughs> who knows what it'll actually look like in, in all reality. But anyway, so it feels good to kind of get out here and get working on the van a little bit more. Uh, just because we got, I don't know, T minus 102 days or something along that line before we got to skid out of here. So we got to get cracking on this thing. Um, and I'm really excited. It feels really good to, to get that, that part of it done. So now we got to figure out how to get rid of all this stuff. I mean, the, the wood stuff we can probably burn or reuse or something, but anywho, I'm uh, going to go have some lunch and then I'm going to come out and kind of clean it up, sweep it up, scrub it up, uh, and maybe figure out what to do with that kind of that paint chipping on the ground. Um, but yeah, right on. Oh, I've missed some of like the, the plastic inserts in the doors to pull out. Um, so I was going to pull those off and then also sweep up. I also need to sweep up and clean this up a little bit. But kind of a fun little thing that I noticed as I was pulling off the wall panel on the back door here is this little thing here. So I looked at it and I'm like, wow, okay, it, things are coming together. We, we noticed when we first bought it, there's kind of this like little rear view, custom rear view mirror that plugged up in the front didn't like we're like oh maybe the, there was once a backup camera and then there was like this little spot on the outside right here that I was like oh they must have taken it off or something I didn't I don't know I'm not super uh smart with that stuff but I open it up and sure enough there is a backup camera installed already that'll save us some money we we're thinking because once we cover up the back windows with insulation and all that stuff um 
and we're gonna you know put some paneling up in here we won't be able to see out the back so if we're backing into a tight spot or something like that it'd be awesome to have a backup camera so we'll have to get in and kind of figure out how to work that thing um see if it still works um also notice that the cable they ran ran up kind of on the outside of the wheel well here probably okay but i might want to try to refeed that kind of through the walls a little bit better but we'll see what happens to that anyway so i'm going to clean up out here uh get some of these other wall panels taken off um also a thing that i noticed as well is that the seal around here like kind of this this rubber kind of seal around the window is missing from this side so i'm wondering if there's something up with that or, or if i need to do that so i'm gonna have to figure out what if what if anything i need to do with that so we're getting our, our insulation in on monday uh, it's friday today we're getting our insulation on monday and then we leave on vacation on tuesday so i won't be able to get much more done in the van here um, another thing that i've been thinking about while i've been out here is what to do with these uh kind of stock lights that are connected to the car battery because we obviously don't want the lights to be coming on and off as we're you know if someone's got to get up in the night i don't who knows i don't want lights coming on and off back here as we're opening doors uh and things like that so what i might do is i might pull the pull the wiring back here and since we're going to build a shelving unit up top there i might mount some lights underneath there so that we get some additional lighting in the cab i don't know i just i hate to waste them um but may, we might end up just snipping them and capping them and just calling it good but i hate to waste it so i'm trying to think of creative ways of, of things we can do uh with that and we'll i'm sure i'll have an update down the line with whenever we get to that so but for now i'll probably clip the lights and then try to pull the wiring back um just so i can get it out of the way because we're gonna need that space so right now i'm gonna clean up a little bit more in here Whew. Feels like it's uh, seven. It's seven degrees outside. Feels like negative six. Um, it's cold here in Minnesota, right? Now.